Greetings, train fans. Hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. Yesterday was my birthday, and so my wife gave me a little something. Now, it was already opened in a bag, so uh, we'll see what it is here. But as you can see from the box, Woodland Scenics, so something for the layout. Let's give it a closer look. Okay, let's dive in here. Let's see if I can get this out. I just put it back in the box just so you can see it. Take off this uh, cover, which was stapled on there. And, uh, uh -huh. Here we go. This is called the depot. So it's a nice little train station. There's a lot of interesting, intricate details. So you got the little shoe shine place here. We've got our train schedule, the luggage scales. We have a, a figure here in the ticket window. So it looks pretty nice. Lots of uh, small decals on here. Shake shingle roof, <laughs> birds on it. Here's the uh, bottom of the packaging. Woodland Scenics. Landmark structures. The Depot. So this is the first Woodland Scenics item that uh, we've gotten for the layout. And first oil impression, uh, very highly detailed, looks really nice. I mean, it makes uh, some of my other buildings by MTH and uh, McDonald's uh, <laughs> look very plain and basic. Um, similar in terms of detail to the Menards buildings that I have. I did notice um, right out of the box that this little sign had detached. It says telegraph and cable office. So I was looking at the building and uh, on the back side here where it has the Bell System logo there's a little spot there on the wall where it looks like something was maybe half glued on there, not fully glued, and it detached maybe during shipping. I don't know. And I notice on the uh, chimney flue here, stove flue, that this cable wire has detached from the roof. So I'm like, oh, no big deal. I could do a dab of glue here, dab of glue there, no problem. And looking uh, a little more closely here, I'm like, okay, here's the steps. Here's the little side paneling. You got this little gap here. I was wondering, wait, is, is that like a piece broke off? That kind of, looks kind of odd. And looking at it, I'm like, oh, well, no, no, that's the way this section was manufactured. Let's look around on this corner here. Huh. That's taking way out there. And this is flush, whereas this is kind of tapers down with this uh, fascia here on the top. And the fascia here is on the bottom. So wait a second. This flush side should have gone over here with the steps. And then this, uh, this piece jutting out here should have met up with this section over uh, here on this corner. So it'd be a nice clean corner. And then wait, what, what have we here? Another corner sticking out. We got a another okay fascia on top on the side, and then the front of the depot. We got the fascia on the bottom. <laughs> top, bottom, top fascia, bottom fascia. So uh, the purser person in the factory in China. Just went ahead and glued these upside down. 
can see on the the packaging picture here. Oop, this part's too close. It's back here. Here on this uh, sticker. Fascia is on the top, <laughs> all the way around. Sides, front, back. I looked online as well. Yeah, so. So definitely a few manufacturing defects uh, with this unit here. Screwed up on these panels. Sign only half glued and fell off. And this is broken as well. I mean, this sign in the cable could have happened during shipment, as far as I know. I don't know if it left the factory that way. But uh, this was just poor workmanship with these being put upside down. I mean, that's that's really noticeable. So, no excuses on that one. So, very poor quality control there. Uh, slack in workers. But I guess, what do you expect when you uh, hire a country that uh, uses slave labor of their people? <laughs> Can you really be that surprised? And shame on us for uh, doing business with them. So, yeah, not to belittle the gift of my wife. Overall, it's very nice. I'm very happy with it. But uh, we've contacted so to see if we can exchange it for a different item that uh, maybe doesn't have as many defects. But we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, we can find a nice spot for it on the layout. Note that the depot has uh, LED lighting. The interior of the building is illuminated, as is this lamp post here. And also this open porch area. Uh, let's see if we can get the angle right. You can see the, the light here as well, which is LED. So the wiring on the bottom is just uh, plug it into a power supply. Uh, Woodland Scenic does have their own uh, power systems. So you will have to buy separately a power uh, source to make this illumination work. But it's just like with uh, Menards, they have their own specific power supply that's branded to them. Woodland Scenics has theirs. So I'll have to uh, grab one, fire it up, see how it looks illuminated. With a small layout, uh, space is obviously limited. And I got some of these tracks right up to the edge on this side of the table. I already have pretty much all building out <laughs> over on the right side. And I have a Strasbourg station, so we wouldn't want two train stations right next to each other. So I think we can just uh, clear up a little spot in this area. Oops, the wires here. Speed bus dropping off some passengers at the station, or the dropping off at McDonald's. <laughs> and there we go. So getting uh, nice and packed in there, but uh, I guess it works. <laughs> I do what you can do with the space you have. So I have a little bit of real estate left to cram in some more things.
Okay, so we'll see what happens if we ever get a uh, replacement for it. If not, I'll just have to uh, glue those two items and then the uh, those uh, baseboards on the bottom there we'll just have to live with. But, uh, I mean, unless you really look closely at it, uh, hard to uh, hard to really notice. Uh, so overall, I'd say uh, design A+, plus, uh, execution D-. minus. <laughs> it wouldn't have seen it. <laughs> so... But uh, Big's a great gift.